All right, this is the homemade Captain America Civil War trailer, and this is how we made it. Attack! Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here. As you may know, Ben and Bianca just had a baby, so I'm filling in for this month's Homie Movies episode, and it's actually been about two and a half years since I directed my own episode, so it was a lot of fun to dig back into it. So this is a pretty complicated shoot because there's so many people in it and so many costumes, so there's a lot of planning going into who was coming and going at which time and when I had to have the costumes made. So the first costume I made for this was Captain America. You can see the whole build in my episode of DIY Costume Squad that just came out last week, and I give you all the details on that, but essentially it was just finding some clothes at a thrift store and then adding some pieces of EVA foam and spray painting and making the helmet and made a new shield. Now I made this costume a little bit bigger so it fits on our friend Michael. Michael was just in Ben's homemade He-Man episode and he's got a real great physique and I thought that he would make a good Captain America. Yes! Dude, okay, see? It like, it works. It's a tight fit. It was so baggy on me. I yeah. can still breathe. I can still breathe. Aside from wearing the full Captain America costume, we do have lots of miscellaneous outfits for him, like a brown leather jacket and stuff that I just sort of pieced together from stuff I already had. You see those official mashable sunglasses? This is my actual jacket, which is not. <laughs> so we shot a lot of his stuff here around the office, which is kind of handy because we used to always shoot all these episodes at home. So it's kind of hard to find like a glass conference room and stuff like that, but here is really easy. One really cool shot with Captain America is when he's hanging onto that helicopter. So we just brought a ladder out into our parking lot here. Somebody can hang on this end and you'll just like, you'll hold it out. And had Michael just hang on to the side of a fence and put some yellow duct tape along the edge of it. But then the first part of that shot was actually done with a miniature. My helicopter wasn't quite big enough, so I made it a little bit higher just so it looks bigger in the camera. And it looks really cool when you put those two together. Falcon is only in two shots, so I'm gonna try and whip up something real quick for his costume. So I'm gonna start with some shoulder pads, paint them black and silver, and kind of build it out from there. For the role of Falcon, we've got Ace Gibson. How you doing? A homemade movies veteran, by the way. You've been in a handful of episodes. The opening shot from the trailer is pretty awesome. Falcon is overlooking the city, so we actually drove up nearby here. There's an overlook, and it matches pretty well. On top of the world up here. One of my favorite things that goes by really quick is that um, in the foreground when he's walking with Captain America, you see a motorcycle in the trailer and somebody had a bike here in the office, so we put a bike there instead. Just happened to be here in the office, so we're using it. Pretty psyched about that. Homemade. Playing the part of Bucky. Clint, who you know from the channel. Um, two episodes in a row. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> very strange. So Bucky's left arm is metallic, so what I'm gonna do is actually just paint one whole sleeve of this jacket. Clint has a broken arm right now, he might know this, so we're just kind of making do. So. Movie magic. <laughs> this is the very special Bucky wig. Oh yeah, ooh. Which I have customized. <laughs> Action. This is the car in the foreground. Here we go, and action. Hello. All right, let's try again, try again. <laughs> One of the really cool shots with Bucky uh, is when he's riding on a motorcycle, and we actually shot that with miniature. All right, so I've got Bucky on a motorcycle attached to a wire, which I can move around like this. And then the very next shot, I shot that here in this room by just hanging up a sheet and kind of waving it and flashing some flashlights and making it look like he's on a the motorcycle. Then, instead of having a full-size motorcycle, I'm just gonna do a little forced perspective trick yeah. with this little guy. <laughs> I think we got it, that's good. All right, I'm all suited up, got the makeup, got the goatee. Um, I believe this is the sixth time I played Tony Stark for homemade movies, so kind of like my, uh, my flagship character, I would say. Tony Stark's outfits are actually pretty easy. I just pieced them together using stuff that I already had. Vest, tie, dress shirt, coat. Who's your tailor? Um, Clips are us. Tony has the Iron Man glove in just a few of the shots, so I made that glove red and silver so I can just wear that. Tony Stark has some very specific glasses. It takes not one, but two pairs to create the custom signature Tony Stark look. There's one shot of Tony Stark inside of the Iron Man mask. There's kind of like a little orb thing there. I'm just gonna make that physically out of some pipe cleaner, and then I'll just flash a flashlight on my face like that. Yeah, magic flashlight time. 
For the role of Black Widow, we used our friend Claire Max from DIY Costume Squad. There's a cool part in this trailer where she's beating up a bunch of dudes, so I wanted her to flip over this dummy. I made a dummy in the past for our homemade Mr. and Mrs. Smith fight scene. I can't find it anywhere in my attic, so I'm gonna make a new dummy. So I'll start with some PVC pipe going up the spine and like some shoulders, and then I'm gonna fill it with a bunch of extra foam that I have. <laughs> so she flips that over, and then the rest of those shots where she's beating up the guys, I did with miniatures. Holding this man above my head. <laughs> Playing the role of Hawkeye is our buddy Cameron, who works here in the office in the sales department. And I thought he kind of had a Hawkeye vibe, so he uh, graciously played this role for me. And then you guys, check this out. I found this at the thrift store, <laughs> like as is. Oh, and I just had to buy it because I knew it would come in handy. I'm gonna make one of these gloves into Hawkeye's little special glove. I'm gonna make a bunch of arrows that kind of just stick out. We never really see it from the back, so I really only have to make this much of them. So I'll just make a handful of those out of some wooden doweling, and I'll just make a bunch of little feathers out of um, craft foam. This is your partner for this scene. Another cool use of the dummy is when Hawkeye flips Black Widow over, so we used the dummy for that and put a red wig on it. Yeah, dude, that one was perfect. But it looks great on camera using these dummies and uh, nobody was hurt. My, uh, abuse. This is Rachel standing Hi. in for uh, Scarlet Witch today. The jacket she's wearing is kind of a huge jacket that I've had for a while, but you know, you can put it on and then just kind of clip it in the back so it sits a little tighter, doesn't look so silly. Okay, it still looks silly. And then they're in this shot where it looks like a plane has crashed in the background. So I went ahead and made this whole 2D facade in the background, just cut it out of cardboard, painted it like fire and an airplane, and just put it back on the road behind them. <laughs> and then John's gonna be back here. So these uh, flames kind of like have little handles so you can you oh, fire. special effects. Come yeah, out fire. Just for that one shot, which I think is less than a second. All right, this is the first of two big group shots. We have tons of people in this. So I've got all the costumes laid out. We're getting ready to suit up right now. All right, so I've got Ant-Man in just one shot, live action. So, borrowed this from Ben, who of course made this in an episode of Homemade How To. But it's kind of in shambles right now, so I'm gonna try and just uh, touch it up and make it camera ready. Recruiting John to play Ant-Man. Is this your on-screen Homemade Movie debut? As like an actual character? Yeah. This is the front, right? Yeah. So we went out in the parking lot and got that group shot. Now the other big group shot, we've got Black Widow just kind of wearing a black jacket, and we have Iron Man. Now, I initially made the full Iron Man costume for our very first Hoey Movies episode, and that was nearly four years ago. So basically, one by one, as I go through these pieces, I'm realizing that not a single one of them works for this costume because they're completely different colors. I've got the helmet. As long as I fix the helmet up, I think I'm gonna have to just kind of quickly build the rest of this from scratch. I think I'll just put some gold pieces on top of a red sweater and then make a new chest piece. Okay, war machine. Well, I'm gonna start with a football shoulder pad rig, paint it black, over a black hoodie, so that way I can just use the black hood. Then all I really have to do is add some of the silver highlights, maybe just make the chest plate and make the front face plate. I'm trying to stop myself from getting too elaborate here. Okay, Black Panther's mask. I'm gonna use this spandex black hood and then draw all the details on with this white wax pencil and then I'll make something for his little necklace there, black shirt. That's all you need. You only see it from here up for like a split second. All right, for Vision's shirt, I'm just gonna use this uh, grayish blue dress shirt. I'm gonna add these details with some red tape and then maybe a little bit of gold duct tape. Vision's gloves are just gonna be these old leather gloves that I have. Looks like we painted them white for something. So now I'm gonna paint them red. All right, for Vision's cape, I'm gonna use some yellow fabric. I knew I had some in the attic. I just finally realized what it was. It was this big ball of flames that we made for the Mr. and Mrs. Smith scene. So I'm gonna just tear it apart and take the yellow part out and make a cape out of it. All right, so I'm just blocking off the areas that I want to stay red, and the rest I'm gonna spray paint silver. The good thing about this shot is that most of the costumes are just from the waist up. So to shoot this big group, we got everybody together and put the costumes on. We actually did this live on Facebook, so if you follow us there, you might have seen it happen live. <laughs> Vision's kind of in the background, like floating down to the ground, so John is up on a step ladder, so that way when we say action, he can just kind of like step down a step and it looks like he's landing. All right, I think we got it. All right! Woo-hoo! All right, 
Oh, we did the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. wait, 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 wait. The rest of the trailer was done entirely with miniatures, so I had a lot of action figures to make, pretty much all of these characters all over again as little G.I. Joe sized characters. Some of them I was able to just buy as is, and then other ones I just kind of made from scratch using old G.I. Joes that I had and kind of modified them with paint and stuff. Ben made this awesome little Ant-Man for his Ant-Man trailer. He needs a little help, he kind of fell apart. I still have many old cities and storefronts up in my attic, believe it or not. But I'm going to put together some of the city backgrounds and hopefully don't have to make it off the scratch. When putting these shots together, I kind of just make whatever background pieces I need. Maybe it's like a truck or some bushes or something. And then to move the action figures around, I always attach them to coat hangers and just bend them just the right way and hot glue them in there so you can just kind of control them like puppets. Okay, it's time to do this gigantic Avengers shot. Both sides coming together. Set up a cardboard backdrop. It's uh, 11 action figures and they're flying towards each other and running towards each other. I'm going to be holding the camera and I've got Iron Man because he kind of moves different than everybody else. the whole room with smoke. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so this shot of Captain America blasting down the hallway, I'm gonna shoot it sideways so that we'll have an explosion behind him and then we'll just drop a whole bunch of confetti. So basically, in the foreground, there's gonna be an explosion. In the background, um, John's gonna be raising his hands through this hole. That's gonna be the black smoke just billowing. Alright guys, that is a wrap yeah. on Captain America. Right. Final shot! Yeah. Black little high five! Yeah. yeah! Back to real life. <laughs> Got a problem with the phone line. I think it's this. You know, we have a problem here at Shield uh, with the computer systems right now. We've got the blue screen of death. Oh, it's a workout. It's a Captain America workout. Left, right, left, right, left. Blue screen of death. Windows, man. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. It was so much fun getting to make one of these again. Be sure and check out the DIY Costume Squad episode where I show you how to make the full Captain America costume and shield. And watch the side by side. And let us know in the comments what other trailers and scenes you want to see Ben try and tackle. And uh, be sure and subscribe and we'll see you later.